Ahoy! Today we're taking a first look at Tiamat. And we're gonna start with her one here. Which in itself is already pretty interesting if you look at that. It's a bit of a, a wind-up ability, so you, when you're clearing jungle, you actually want to wind that up before you start clearing the camp, in my opinion. So Tiamat is very, very interesting. Uh, in, in jungle specifically, or in general as well. But um, the main reason why she feels re really weird at the start is because you start with her one. Uh, because you, start, you can't really start with her stand swap. Uh, since it only does very little damage and then you don't get another ability. So basically you, you always just... Oh, yeah, that's the worst timing. <laughs> if you don't have that right, then uh, it's really bad. And then you leap in like this and then you can stand swap and then you can use some more abilities. Uh, the one actually comes with an execute threshold, but it's kind of hard to make use of. Uh, what you can also see here, I think that is something that uh, wasn't really clear beforehand, but it's, it's clear now, is that when you stand swap, the leap of your other stances stand swap goes on cooldown. So you can't just stand swap back and just use both leaps at the same time. I thought this, that she would have a lot of safety through that, but it's actually quite the opposite. It's actually, you either uh, get a bit of safety at the start or you get, get none at all um, if you try to swap around. We can, we can try if we can get a backflip here and get a kill with that, yeah. But now you can see that uh, in the other stance, Okay, uh, my swap is on cooldown. Um, so that really slows her down in some ways, I would say. Uh, the second ability is this. Triangle does one instant of damage and then does an additional stun. Uh, works a lot better on, on minions, I would say, than on guards. It's actually a really small area and relatively hard to hit. So, uh, yeah, she's very, very, very interesting. And I know a lot of people are very concerned about her being very OP, but I'm not so sure. So what you can see here, by the way, is I get seven uh, heals here, right? Uh, seven or six HP heals here. Uh, now I will get one right here. Oh, no, no. Well, I, th I thought I would get one. Maybe we can get the stun. Oh, nice. Um, well, now I'm full HP. Uh, but anyways, you get them for allied minion death, I think, and for enemy minion death. And like basically every time something dies around you, you get healed. Uh, also for allied uh, guards and enemy guards. So very, uh, very, well, that's another goddess <laughs> that, whose name I can't say, uh, like passive. So on a camp, I can do, use these two abilities in magical sense, and that's basically it. That is kind of enough to clear it, but then... You have a bit of a cooldown going, but especially the one's cooldown isn't particularly long either if you use it at the start of the camp. It's like 10 seconds here, which is really not bad uh, when it comes to a main clearing ability. And then just use this one after. Quite a mana intense way of clearing, obviously. Um, right, we can actually show the, the buff thing, by the way. Uh, I haven't done that. So the really cool thing about her is that she can get two buffs. In order to do that, you need to be in the uh, melee stance. So we will just just charge up our one here. You can actually walk around with that charge up, I think. Yeah. Oh no, you can't. Not 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 if you don't use it very quickly, at least. Uh, and then we can use the two here, which is a knock up. And now you can see the execute threshold. And uh, if I do that, then I get a version of the buff myself. You can see there's two buffs on me right now, as well as the speed buff on the ground. So that would be for someone else to pick up. Um, we're just gonna go see the Abuts here, get some more pots maybe. Uh, look at the the emotes. We haven't done that. Oh, they don't they only work while standing. Oh, she's Doing a tail. The clap as well. Jack. Oh right, she would have different claps and different stances. Let's find out. Enough. What do we got here? Right, that's that's a weird wave. Oh, okay, in this stance she actually claps. <laughs> So, that is interesting. That is, uh, so she has like double animations for every, uh, yeah, everything basically. And uh, once you get to this point, I would say, actually it's pretty solid. Let's see, let's see. I wanna see how long it takes to clear like another camp, so. Uh, and then obviously we also have the passive here. So what you can see right now is I have this 47, uh, damage mitigation, no, it's, it's gone already. Now it's gone down to zero. If there's damage mitigation from being in the stand. Oh, so buff camps actually give you a stack. That's interesting. 
Wait, that's not specified at all. Uh -oh, teammate down. Let's see. Um, teammate can consume... Oh, large monsters at buff holders. No, wait, no, it says it says they're all executed, but not all of them should provide you with... Uh, oh, we'll find out. Let's see. Let's see about this one. This is also large-ish, but not as large. Okay, this doesn't give us mitigation, but it, it seems that consuming buff camps gives you a stack of your passive. And that is very, very good, because uh, that would mean that there is another way to get stacks on that passive, which is extra mitigation. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, because you're gonna lose a lot of the passive stacks in jungle as well. If you're, if you're jungling, uh, you're not gonna keep your stacks because you're clearing camps. So that's just kind of a way to get some of that back constantly while jungling. Uh, it still seems like you're taking a decent amount of, of health damage anyways. Like, uh, between me having Bombas and, and how long it takes to clear camp, it's not like it's completely damage free. Now let's see what happens with these guys, because these guys uh, should count as like stronger-ish minions. So let's see if we can get two stacks out of them. One execute threshold. And we get the other. Ooh, oh, you can. You can get you can get two stacks out of oracles. That's very cool. So that is definitely something worth keeping in mind. Uh, minions don't do that. So that uh, that is something yeah, where you have to like toy around a little bit. It's interesting that it seems the execute threshold also basically just tells you when your one will kill. I don't think... I, I don't know how it's tied to other numbers. So these would both not provide you with a stack, I guess. Wait, wait, I got an extra stack. Why did I get an extra stack? Right, this, this guy doesn't give me a stack back, but something gave me an extra stack. Hmm. Okay, we're leveling the three second because uh, that is, um, in my opinion, well, <laughs> not good for clearing, but but generally a good, uh, good to have... Uh, Upgrade because then you can stand swap more often, which I think is quite impactful in fights at least, not so much while farming the jungle. Uh, but yeah, I, I like that so far. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can fight some enemies soon. Now, this feels satisfying. This wind up thing feels so satisfying. Should actually take this buff as well because I can take two buffs anyways. And well, now the question is if you want to level the ultimate first or the. The one? I think the old... Let me check again. Oh, it doesn't actually get cooldown reduction. Oh, no, it just increases the damage. Well, it is worth it for the uh, the other stage, I would say, for the for the summons that you can do. Um, so I probably still level it relatively early, at least. So maybe, maybe like, I, I'd level it now, anyways. Uh, or you'd level it a uh, level later, and then just get a point in the one first. I don't know. Us out here. I don't know. I, I got one stack in between, but I'm really not sure where that came from, and I, I'd like to find out. Oh, hey. Oh, go oh, check that. Check. I mean, I, I, I'm a bit above levels compared to him, but check that mitigation there. Um, let's fight. So now I've run into a problem because now I'm literally out of abilities. I, I, I can try this now. I'm just going to wait for the color of my one. I think that's honestly easier. Uh, so that's something that I think can happen quite... Yeah, quite quite early in a fight, if you're unlucky. That you literally run out of things to uh, to box with in one stand, and then you have to swap. But I really like that mitigation there. That was huge. I didn't expect that to like eat the whole Kraken like that. I'm not complaining, though. See, if I waited a little bit longer, I would have actually... Hmm, well... Downside with um, the Consume being the, the ability uh, that will get you uh, the, the extra stacks is that you cannot use it early when clearing, and it, I think it's your best clear part, basically. Uh, okay. Can we can we start a fight? Well, I, I would like to start a fight in the other stance, actually, but um, we're just going to start a fight with the ultimate here, I think. Let's turn the mitigation on. Oh okay, yeah, we're just gonna jump him. Oh, no, we cannot jump him. I was gonna say we're just gonna jump him, but that is that is actually a real struggle. That um, the best part of your uh, like like the part the part of your of your kit where you would want to jump in on them in the in the 
melee stance actually is a leap backwards. <laughs> I think that's uh, something to be aware of. Um, because you can you can back backflip towards them basically, but then you won't get damage on them because it's like a cone in front of you. Um, so you, yeah, again, you really want to engage the other way around. You really want to engage uh, in the mage stance and then swap over uh, into the melee stance. How cool is this though? I really like the one. The one is so satisfying. <laughs> it's a ton of damage though. Um, I think even like, it's, it's not a lot in early ranks, but once you've maxed it out because of the extra procs that you get, it's like, it, it shreds through a lot of things very, very quickly. Okay, um, maybe get ourselves a red buff this time. And then I want to I wanna try and see how much damage I can really put on an enemy if I engage uh, in the mage stance and then swap over to the other. So I think that, that's honestly how it's meant to be used. I think if you, yeah, if you level the... The two, you would also get extra CDR on that. So there's definitely benefit in leveling the two as well. Maybe it's actually worth more leveling the two. Oh, I should have consumed that. Um, maybe it's hmm, more worth leveling the two than the than the three in that regard. Oh, we wanna we wanna swap here. And we wanna consume. So we can get the additional buff. Cool. Some protection reduction. That works for me. Uh, okay. So now, hmm. Let's see. Let's see how much uh, how much damage we take from this guy and how quickly he can get stacks on them. All right, still on two stacks. Oh, okay, that that is sick. So in later stages, when your protections from a single stack are higher, you can get quite a lot of stack damage mitigation. So I'm at 500 health, so like a good third of my health in mitigation now. Well, this time we can just backflip away, like in this direction. We should still get him. That's nice. Uh, these don't stack. It feels so unrewarding to clear anything that doesn't give you stacks. <laughs> but, oh well, it doesn't matter right now because we're in mage stance anyways. Uh, and uh, you still get heals from these, I think. Actually, let me check that. I should get like two different types of heals. Yeah, I think I get a heal there. Yeah, percentage based heal essentially. Like the Bamba's heal and then, then my Tiamat heal as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, I want to see... I want to see the other part of the ultimate. We haven't really done that, so we're gonna. Maybe we can actually. We can we can set up a little spawner here and, and uh, see what we can do with that. Oh god, I almost forgot to swap stances. Oh what? Whoops! I pressed the wrong button and used my ultimate. <laughs> I was like, wait, why did it just? Where did that Kukul Khan tornado come from? It wasn't the Kukul Khan tornado. It was my own tornado. Wait, so this is my mage ultimate right now. What happens if I swap stance now? Okay, that ultimate is separate. That's good. Uh, good to know, at least, because uh, I wasn't sure how that would interact. And that could have been a downside as well. Um, maybe we just go mage stance here. Whoop. And then... Oh, we actually hit him with a devil. That is good damage, though. Okay. I'm sending out the bull guy, but for some reason he was immune to the, to the slow. Mm, okay, but the bull guy has like an instant response, right? So the moment he uh, the moment he shows up, essentially he instantly dashes to an enemy. So people were saying like, why would you ever do, use the bull guy? Uh, that's why you can just instantly apply some damage and slow an enemy. Uh, probably easier than with a tornado, to be honest. This is crazy. This ability feels so cool. Oh, she is, she is definitely a bit messy in terms of, like, figuring everything out. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, the spawner here as well. Um, so that's the first ability. And now it should spawn minions. Why do they go left? Great. I wanted them to go middle. Why are they going left? If an enemy stands on that, it would be broken uh, eventually. So that they can't just, like... You can't just place it down and be uncomfortable in that regard. Um, yeah, so far, definitely, everything feels like you want to start in the mage stance. You can't just hang around in the tank stance uh, because you get a lot of your damage from that stance. And then... Uh, oh, see, see how slow the wind-up on that tornado is? We still, we still got it, though. Nice. 
So now we got a little bit of mitigation here. Oh, can I hear that? No. <laughs> and then she just runs away. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the problem with the melee stats, right? Like, uh, you only have that one leap. If you use that leap, good luck. <laughs> you won't really be sticking to enemies all too much. That, I, huh. I wonder if you can, like, work around that somehow. I wonder if you can um, work with... Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what you could work with that could, could help here, but... If there's something that you could work with... Oof. That's not how much damage you'd expect to take at this point of the game. I guess, I guess I'm guess i going full mage build, right? So it makes sense in that regard. But that makes me think... Uh, the more I, I, I get a feeling for her, maybe we get some... Some physical defense, actually, some CDR. Let's see. Like, I think you have to invest quite heavily into defense uh, for her to be effective, but I don't think it's a problem. Uh, I think since since her one's damage, I think it's pretty good base damage as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, you can actually get, get away with uh, maybe like a vamp shot solo build quite decently, and then you would be... Kind of tanky. Your oh, wait. Primordial chaos, one by one until there is nothing left. It looks funny. It looks to me as if it's a minion oh getting the kill. Wait, wait. Oh boy. Okay, couldn't leap because of uh Poseidon's whirlpool. That's something worth keeping in mind as well, that a a really hard counter to you will just be uh <laughs> being crippled. <laughs> if you get Poseidon Whirlpool, you can't even do your stance swap. That's really rough. And, uh... Yeah, what I really wanted to see is if I can get the, the spawner here. No, other stands. Other stands, spawner. Oh, God. The, the buttons that you have to go through to get this to happen are, are, lo are a lot. Okay, let's just aggress. If I die, I die. I just want to see if I can get... Yeah, you can get the, the stacks really nicely. Oh, look at that, look at that. Now I have a ton of mitigation stacks. Right, like, because of the Kumba death and then using... Um... Oh, wait, and I can eat these as well for extra stacks. And now I have 1,100 mitigation. Um, which makes me think... Wait, is the spawn already dead? Okay, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna stand swap here quick. Get the spawner. And then we wait out another stand swap. And then what wait, 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 did I just see that right? Are they fighting the scorpion? That'd be hilarious. Oh they are! <laughs> but what happens what happens when the scorpion dies? An ally has been slain. Can they kill it? Nope! They just like okay, bye. Done. Is this the new scorpion buff by the way? It works differently now? Oh man, they're fast. I want to eat one, but they're so fast. Wait. Okay, yeah. So this is a very easy way to get stacked as well. So really, unless you're, unless you're engaging with another ability before a fight, I feel like there is massive value in just spawning... Uh, spawning one of these uh, little minion guys. So that you can uh, then use the extra defense that you get. So you'd just be like, yeah, this one is the one I want. Um, and now... Now let's see. Ouch. We can fight. <laughs> we can't even get there because I only have physical defense and no magical defense. Where, where are the small ones? There, there we go. Okay, and then we're on 690 mitigation stacks. Or like, on, on mitigation for 690. And we won't get him because it's too fast. So I feel like if you're playing jungle team, but you might need blink. I thought I thought that she would have got be a god where you absolutely do not need blink, and now I think the opposite. Because uh, like you follow up in some situations without it, it's just negligible. Wait, did that give me a stack? I see that right? I think I didn't get a kill yet. Did, oh, no, was I didn't? No, never mind. I did it. Well, I'll take the stack from here. Okay, let me get some magical defense and let me see if I can just soak up some damage and, 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 and not die. I would obviously like get like full Oni Hunters or something just to so get super high survivability. Um, and then, yeah, you, you get Bombas here for even more cooldown reduction as well. 
I don't know what happens like uh, with the cooldowns in in opposite stances. I'm assuming they're not affected by by Bumba's hammer. Otherwise, it'd be very cool. Oh, and okay, yeah, no, you have to actually deal a lot of damage because of the threshold thing. Okay. All right, we have five stacks. Let's see, Nemesis, ult me. Give me, give me all your damage. Let's go. Give me a Kraken or something. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, they chew through that pretty quickly still. I'm gonna die here, yeah. Alright, so even even if you have max stacks uh, and you have some defense, it's not as tanky as it would sound, unless you get the uh, additional mitigation on top of that. Okay, I think I've seen everything I, I wanted to see here so far. Uh, I think Tiamat's definitely interesting. I think she's definitely fun. Uh, but I do not think that the stand swapping aspect of her is overpowered. I'm, I think that one damage is pretty high actually, but it also has a charge, so I'm, I can't really say yet. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I know a lot of people are very worried about her, like, combined damage potential, but seeing how long it takes to actually do, like, even her mage stance abilities and then stand swap, uh, as well as, as all the, uh, all the other stuff that she can do, uh, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about her damage. Uh, I'm also not too worried about the mitigation just yet, like, looking at how much damage I just took there, uh, very quickly, even though I had fully stacked passive, that... So that still felt very punishing, so I wonder how well that would feel, like how strong that would feel with a full uh, passive of this type. But yeah, I think she's very interesting, she's very fun. I'm gonna try her more over the over the weekend. Uh, if you guys wanna check that out, uh, feel free to join me on PTS. I will be streaming it as well, I think. Uh, and what you also saw there is the new service with slightly better ping. So if you wanna uh, try that out, you can play on NA West. With that, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this was a interesting first look at her and we'll see more in the coming days so free to sub button and maybe the bell if you haven't yet to so get notified of that duke sloth out <laughs>